Hello, it's Tuesday. So this past week has actually been a pretty eventful week, believe it or not. I actually have things of substance to let you guys know that I've been doing, which is exciting and fun. Um, so I'm going to start as a quick weekly recap thing, because that's apparently what we've been doing recently. So on Wednesday, I didn't really do anything exciting, so it's not really part of the whole eventful week thing. On Thursday, I actually had a two and a half hour meeting with Rebecca, and we laid down a whole crap ton of stuff, and we just figured out how we're going to do this, and what we want to achieve, and what our main goals are with the kids, and just kind of like what we're going to, how we're going to execute this. So that was really exciting. Friday, same deal, I think? Wow, okay, so I didn't really do anything. Um, Saturday though, Saturday was the cool day. Well, sort of. It was one of the worst days I have ever had in the afternoon at work that day because people were driving me crazy and I felt like I was the crazy one at one point, but I was like, no, it's them, it's not me. And then, um, so then at like 5.30ish, Shay came to work and she met me at work and I got to see my Uncle Rod who I haven't seen in years and so we got to talk for a few minutes and then Shay and I had dinner together and Shay forgot Emerson. Still a little bit upset. That's okay. Not really though. I'm not really upset I mean. And, um, and so we ate and got kind of ready to go and then we went to the Maroon 5 concert which was amazing. Insert some little clips here. We had a fabulous time. We got, uh, she got to be in the eighth row, I was in the ninth, and we were on that aisle, it, right, like, dead in the center of, of the stage, which was so <laughs> incredible. You have no freaking idea. It was wonderful. So Matt Nathanson went first. If you guys haven't heard him, go look him up. He's so much better live, I think, but I have so full discography discography, I can never say that. And then after that was Train, and the lead singer of Train, I swear is gay, because he's just so flamboyant and ashe, he'd like go like this off the stage, <laughs> and he was so much fun, he was so funny to watch. And uh, I hope Shay has some better video and pictures than my phone because my phone is sucks. And uh, and then and then Moon Five went on. And after the concert, we got on the train and there were like five billion people down there, and it was just like insanity. And um, so we ended up catching the train. And then Mama came and picked her up and dropped me off at home. Anyways, so that was uh, Saturday. And then Sunday, I got up early and I was like rushing around to make sure that I had everything ready for my class on that Monday, that Sunday, because it was my first Sunday teaching the kids, and I was all excited, and, um, and so then I didn't end up teaching because Pastor Josh forgot to dismiss the children, and then, um, after church I went home and read for hours and hours, and I read the first Hunger Games book in, like, four hours five hours maybe, and just generally watched movies and stuff on my computer. I literally just read, I read and, and watched TV all night, it was so relaxing and so nice. I hadn't been able to have one of those days in a really long time. And then Monday rolled around, and I'd been super stoked for Monday for a couple of days because April had offered or for me to like shadow her one day during classes, and so I got to go to her biology classes, and while biology for me holds absolutely no appeal, it was really interesting to be able to see what 
the college atmosphere was. So I have some random video that I will be sharing, such as this clip right here. This is the LRT station. Just getting ready to hop on that train. And that's kind of what our train stations, or one of our train stations look like. They all look quite different. Um, and so after we get on the train, we did a couple stops. And finally, we got to the campus. Like and we're on campus. And I had been to the campus before. Hoover and I had done an explore day, and so we got to kind of look around and, and see everything. But I got to actually go in the cab mall when we got there. We went there and looked around the big, huge grass area, which is gorgeous. And there were people just like lying in the sun, and there were booths that were handing out free junk. And so then after we went to cab, I got a booster juice there because I'd been like craving one for some reason when we were on the train and I was like, I need it! So I got one. And then we went to this amazing little sconery place and they had scones there. We went and sat outside on the lawn and just sat in the sun and enjoyed ourselves. And then class started about a half hour later. And so the first class that I went to was Bio 108. And it was talking about taxonomy and, and, and classification of spe species. It was in specifics, but it's not it's species. It was, to some degree, it was kind of interesting just because it was like interesting seeing how things can be classified and how you'd like see that a turtle is closer to a, um, a cheetah than a fish because of the toes thing. I don't know, I have notes somewhere about that, but I'm not going to bother pulling them out. So anyway, so the first class had about 200, 200 students in it, and it was laid out in like, like a horseshoe kind of. And so like all the kids were around the back, and then this, the teacher was here in the front, and she just addressed us, and it looked really cool, and, and she had this big PowerPoint presentation behind her, and so she laid out all of her slides. And so then she went through, it was a 50 minute lecture, and so um, after that lecture, we had to book it across campus. Interesting styles there. We all have the unifying like thing of being students, but they all are individual except for the sorority girls because they all look the same to me. Some of them, I'm pretty sure, look the same on purpose because they'd all be wearing the same color shirt and jeans or sweats or whatever, and they're like, oh my god, I'm in a sorority, and it's like, <laughs> No, that's gross. You're like a herd of cattle that are all wearing pink. It was disgusting. Uh, so we get to we get to go to this big building, and it's I'm like this is gonna be good. So we got to go into the lecture hall, and this lecture hall had room for 500 students, and it was nearly at capacity. So there are about 480 or 490 or something. So this was a freaking huge auditorium. And for me personally, as um, a voyeur, it was very interesting to see like how all of these people interacted and, and, and worked in a classroom setting. And what I had noticed was all of the desks are for right-handed people, and only the ones on the very left, the very left-hand sides, are for left-handers. And if, like me, a left-hander got caught in the middle of everything, everyone kind of leans over to the right as they're writing. So they're kind of leaning on the, on the arm that they're writing on. As soon as someone kind of leans to the left and is... I, I messed that up completely. I'm leaning the wrong way, but we're going to keep with this analogy, even though it's backwards. Uh, as soon as someone would lean to the left to write on their arm, it just it looked like... it looked wrong because everyone was leaning one way and then there was just one other person leaning the other way. So that was really cool to kind of see. It looked very, I don't know, it looked grassy almost. I don't even know how to, how to um, explain that. Another thing I had noticed was the herd kind of works because there are, you know, 400 and, and some kids in the one auditorium. When one person laughs, it ripples. If one person, if, if it's like an awkward snickering or something, everyone else does it just because. Even if it's not particularly funny and the person's being disrespectful, they'll still do it just because that's what everyone else is doing. It was so interesting. The reason I kind of noticed that was because the people in front of me weren't paying attention and then there was this Australian chick who came in and she was like, are you ready for adventure? 
and she was yelling and talking so quickly that no one could understand her so at the end of it someone said something and then a snicker kind of like rippled outwards but by the time it got to us the guy was like <laughs> wait what did he say so no one actually knew what this guy said but they all just laughed because everyone else did and then after that lecture I got to go down to the bottom of it and just kind of look up to see what the professor would feel like it was intimidating like even though the stands were almost empty when you look up at people people look up at you or down at you and it's like, it's pressure feeling, you know, 400, e even just feeling those 30 kids stares, just as I was looking up. Uh, this is what it looked like looking up. Even as I was looking up at them, I couldn't imagine having 490 kids looking at me, because that's just insane. And this guy had two panels behind him, so he had to make sure, one was a, a live camera feed onto his, onto his little uh, table where he had some notes that he was like actively writing as he was writing out things. The other one was a pre-made pre PowerPoint lecture thing. All in all, I had a fabulous day. I loved being at the campus. I decided that that is indeed where I was going, where I am going to take my nutrition courses because I was kind of debating between there or in Concordia, but I did decide, or McEwen, I guess, but no. I love the campus. Here are some random pictures. And a video. So that was my day. And so we got back on the train and back to Century Park where uh, where the work is and on the south side where I live. Then we went to Costco. I love Costco. And then I went home and I again did nothing in the evening. It was so nice. I for a while was in the living room and then I went up to my room and just just relaxed. And I didn't have to talk to anybody. I didn't have to look at anybody. I didn't have to pretend to be nice to anybody. So that was good. And today, oh right, I forgot to tell you guys, I um, open at the restaurant by myself now. I think I may have mentioned that. I open it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I open, and then I open the line Wednesday, uh, Friday. So uh, that's a really big responsibility. So I didn't end up getting out, but I did get to get some footage of the restaurant. So here it is. That's all. This is pretty much my home. This is the prep sheet, so we know what we need to do for the day. Today was a fairly decent day. And then tomorrow I'm going to be opening the restaurant by myself in the morning. I'm alone in the restaurant with whoever the front of house manager is, probably Jim or Kyle. And uh, so I'm going to be, i uh, hopefully be able to get a little bit more video of what I am, what I do in the day because I'm actually not allowed to have my phone on me, whatever, I do it anyways. So I think that about sums up how my week has been. So Tucker, I just watched your video, or I just gave you your freaking clips. So stop being such a baby, you are way too late on your video and you looked so hungover. Uh, so that's you. Uh, Nancy, I love hearing about you and you always are so cute. And thank you for messaging me during the concert because I just like you. So, Shay, thank you for forgetting Emerson, not. And thank you for taking care of the baby bunnies. And I kind of, that's a great, I kind of like you, but just a little bit. So, you guys, I'm going to sign off. This is a very long video. And all of you have fabulous uh, weeks. Can't wait to see all of your videos, except for Tucker's, which I probably won't see until next week. I think every time anyone, <laughs> Tucker, submits a late video, they have to have a penalty of some sort, such as an embarrassing video that they need to shoot in public, or an embarrassing outfit they need to shoot in public, or they need to wear in public while someone else video tapes or photographs them, or something, because Tucker, unacceptable, unacceptable. So, 
Um, I love you guys, and I will see you all next week. This week. <laughs> Bye. Just ate my grape.